and welcome back to the channel on this video I want to talk about regen braking and I want to give you a little demonstration on um, the regen braking and how it works on the bike and uh, and um, see what you think so let's uh, hop aboard the Lurk Graffiti as you see it right there I will do a demonstration on regen braking and I will also talk about the regen braking and what I think of it so let's hop on and I guess it helps to turn the bike on and uh, we'll do a I'll get it up to about 30 miles per hour I'll try to get out here where I can get it going a little bit faster and then we'll use the regen braking then I'll show you uh, when I use the the hand brakes the uh, hydraulic uh, brakes that when how often I use that I'll talk a little bit about that but first let's get it going to about 30 miles per hour here if I can or something like that I'll just show you how regen braking works on the Lyric Graffiti so I don't just slam it on it's kind of like push down on it to slow it down and I should angle my camera down here to show you so I should have showed you this before but anyway this is the so on this side I got my throttle it's a thumb throttle and here the regen braking is right here it's the thumb it's a thumb brake right there so it just works just like the throttle over here but obviously to uh, break the bike so let's do that again get it up to uh, 30 we got a stop sign here so let's get past the stop sign here all right let's see if we can get it up here so I just get it going here to well stop sign up ahead but pretty close now I just uh, I slowly press down on it I just don't go full bore right down on it It doesn't, um, the regen braking will not stop you on a dime or anything. It's a more gradual stop. And it puts power back in the motor a little bit. And as I'm using it now, I use it probably 95% of the time. Um, actually, I use it probably 100% of the time, but then sometimes I use both that and the handbrake here and so when I want to use when I want to stop quickly then I will use the uh, handbrake but I know how much distance you get used to it how far away you can use the regen braking to stop you saves on your brake pads it's so nice I just absolutely love it and um, I wish that that was an option that people could have on all their bikes. It's a very rare thing. You don't see it very often. Regen braking on the, on the uh, electric bikes. But if you ever get a chance to get a bike with that on it, uh, go for it. Because it's great. And I'm going to show you here a demonstration of... There's a lot of stop signs. I gotta get out somewhere where I can go a little further, but I think I can get it up here. So let's get it back to 30 miles per hour. So we're getting it to 30 miles per hour. Which is right there, and then I use the regen braking, and then if I wanna stop quick, because it didn't have enough room, I use the uh, handbrake there. So 
The, but the nice thing about the regen braking is that you're not using your brake pads. So you're saving your brake pads. You, and like I just showed you there, I very rarely hit the uh, handbrake. If I need to stop quickly, then yes, you have to use the handbrake. But otherwise, most of my riding, I'd say 95%, at least 90%. I never have to touch the brake, like right now. I'm just coming to a stop and able to use my regen braking for the whole thing. Now we're coming up to one more stop sign up ahead here. See if I can get it close to 30 miles per hour. And I'm gonna hit the regen. And I'm able to stop. It doesn't completely stop you. It takes you down to about three or four, three miles an hour or something. Just not quite a stop and then you'll feel that it lets off. So here it is again, getting the bike up to 30 miles per hour or a little bit more, but we'll just say that's close enough. And where that car is, I'm gonna put the brake on now. And you can see it stops you pretty quickly. It's It just doesn't stop you on a dime, but it will stop you fairly quickly. And that's why I basically almost never use the uh, handbrake. But it's awesome. It's one of my favorite things on this Lyric Graffiti that I like is the uh, regen braking. Unfortunately, on the new 2023 version of the Lyric Graffiti, it does not have regen braking. It's a different motor. It's a geared hub motor, whereas this is gearless. So there's no regen braking on that motor. So here we're gonna use it to slow down. It's so nice. Um, I mean, when I first got the bike, I forgot that I had regen braking. I'd never used it before, regen braking. Never had it before, you know. And, and I forgot that I had that. And so then I thought, oh yeah, I have regen braking. And I, once I started using that and got used to it, it's all the time using it. And um, yeah, I use it all the time. Like even right now to slow down to go over the speed bump. So yeah, I highly recommend regen braking if you ever get a chance. If you ever get to try it, you'll say, yeah, that's definitely a something I want to have. All right. But like I was saying a bit ago, it's very rare to have regen braking on a bike. So uh, definitely uh, Lyric Cycles did it right when they offered regen braking on their bike. I believe they're gonna have it on their the PDX when that bike comes out. Make my turn, I have to put my hand out. So that's what regen braking is. Just got a throttle on the right for uh, accelerating and then the braking on the left, both activated by your thumb. Kind of in a way like playing a video game, I guess. But I really like it. 
definitely speaking of thumbs I definitely give it two thumbs up and I'm sure if you ever got to try it you'd say yes it's definitely a winner And that's going to do it for another video here on the channel. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and thank you very much for doing that. And if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining me for this video. And until next time.